Hey Flutter developers, if you're just starting out and feeling overwhelmed by Flutter's massive widget library, and I mean massive, we are talking hundreds of widgets here, then this video is exactly what you need. I am about to show you the three widgets that will literally transform you from a confused beginner into someone who can build real and beautiful apps. And here's the crazy part. Once you master the three widgets, you will understand probably 80% of what you need to build the most mobile apps. Stick around, because by the end of this video, you will have built a complete app layout using just three widgets. Let's start with container, and if you remember nothing else from this video, remember this. Container is your best friend in Flutter. Think of it as a Swiss army knife of widgets. It's the widget you will reach for when you need to style, position or structure literally anything. Now here's what makes container so powerful. It can do 5 major things and I am going to show you each one with real examples you can try right now. First up, padding and margins. You know how frustrating it is when your text is smashed against the edge of the screen? Container fixes that instantly. You just wrap your widget in a container add some padding and boom, professional spacing. Second, background colors and decoration. Want a colored background, rounded corners, shadows, container handles all of that. But here's where container gets really cool, it's size and control. You can make a container exactly 200 pixels wide, or make it take up half of the screen, or make it square. And finally, transformations. You can rotate widgets, scale them, even skew them. This is how you create those smooth animations and eye-catching effects you can see in professional apps. Here's a pro tip took me months to learn. Always start with container when you are not sure how to style something. 9 times out of 10 container can do what you need. It's literally saved me hours of searching through documentation. Now let's talk about column and row. And there is where Flutter starts to feel like a magic. These two widgets are how you arrange everything in your app. No more fighting with complex positioning systems like in web development. Column and row make layout intuitive. Here's a beautiful thing about column and row. Column stacks widgets vertically, top to bottom. Row arranges widgets horizontally, left to right. It's that simple. But the power comes from how you can nest them. Let me show you something that blew my mind when I first learned Flutter. You can put a row inside a column, or a column inside a row, and you can keep nesting them as deep as you want. This is how you build complex layouts that look professional. But here's where beginners usually get stuck, and I am going to save you weeks of frustration. The secret is in the alignment properties, main axis alignment and cross axis alignment. For column, main axis alignment controls vertical spacing. Do you want everything at the top, centered, spread out evenly? For row, main axis alignment controls horizontal spacing, and cross axis alignment that's the perpendicular direction. So for column it controls horizontal alignment, and for row it controls vertical alignment. Here's a real world example. You want to create a profile card with an avatar, name and description. You'll use a column for the main structure, then a row inside to put the avatar next to the name. This is exactly how Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, they all structure their user interface elements. The most common beginner mistake is forgetting that widgets inside column and row can overflow the screen. That's why you need to wrap things in expanded or flexible widgets. But that's a topic for another video. Master column and row and you have mastered 90% of Flutter layout. I'm not exaggerating, almost every screen in every app is clever combinations of columns and rows. Finally, let's talk about Scaffold, and this is the widget that makes your app actually feel like an app. Scaffold is your foundation, your structure, your app skeleton. Here's what incredible about Scaffold, it automatically handles so many complex things that will take you days to implement manually. App bars, navigation drawers, floating action buttons, bottom sheets, snack bars. Scaffold manages all of this for you. Think of Scaffold like the frame of a house. You don't build a house by starting with decorations, you start with the frame. Same with Flutter apps, you start with the Scaffold. The body property is where all your main content lives. This is where you put your containers, columns and rows. The up bar gives you that professional top bar with title and navigation. And floating action button, that's the circular button you see in apps like Gmail. But here's what makes Scaffold really powerful, it automatically handles device differences. Different screen sizes, different operation systems, different orientations, Scaffold adapts automatically. You write your code once and it works everywhere. Pro tip, every screen in your app should probably start with the Scaffold. Even if you don't think you need an app bar or floating action button now, you'll likely need them later. Starting with Flutter makes your code more maintainable and professional. So there you have it. Container for styling and positioning, column and row for layout, and scaffold for structure. These three widgets are literally the foundation of every Flutter app you will ever build. 
Here's your homework. Open your IDE, create a new Flutter project and build a simple profile screen using only these three widgets. Scaffold for the structure, column for stack elements vertically, maybe row for some horizontal elements and container to add colors, padding and styling. If this helped you understand Flutter widgets better, smash that like button, it really helps the channel. And subscribe because next week I'm covering the top 3 advanced widgets that will take your Flutter skills to the next level. Drop a comment below showing me what you built with these 3 widgets. I read every single comment and love seeing what you create.